I just learned that you can add Figma dev mode MCP directly from Claude. So if we come into settings, connectors, I already have it added here. You can browse your uh, connectors, come to desktop extensions, Figma dev mode. I think this only works uh, on the desktop. If I come to web, I don't have that option. So make sure you select uh, desktop extensions and then enable Figma dev mode. Um, you will also need to in Figma, uh, in the page that you're working in, um, let's see how we do this. Preferences, enable dev mode MCP. In the toolbar down here, you could also type enable fig, where was it? There it is. Figma, enable dev mode MCP server. You'll, you'll probably have to close uh, Claude and reopen it, maybe even close Figma and reopen it if it doesn't appear. But then once it is added um, and I have the component that I want uh, to create selected, I can paste in this prompt or type this prompt, create the component that I have selected in Figma. And it's important to have that frame selected and then run it. So you can see it's going to create the component based on the Figma selection and it's getting the code and image. Uh, this is, it's, it's very important uh, on, on the design side, so less on the dev side. Make sure that we're using a bunch of variables, all the variables that are relevant. Uh, there are some unique colors in here um, that aren't using anything. So let's see here. Yeah, so here's an example. Uh, because I wasn't using any variables, I was just using raw values for the padding on left and right and in between. I did not pull that in because I was not using any heck, um, variables for these four colors that also did not pull in. Uh, it has the button copy, and when I click it, it switches to copied. This, it doesn't use the right icon, but that's fine. We can get that updated uh, both on the copy and the check mark side. But I'm going to update these, and we'll see this shape I don't have oh this is I just realized that this is the space on the padding of the component variable set so if I actually select this it actually is using 16 pixels spacing for uh, here so that's weird that uh, it didn't pull that over here all right so I made a few tweaks and I'm writing a follow-up prompt update to use the proper color and spacing variables. Let's see what happens here. Drafting the artifact, making some changes. All right, so it updated it. It's still not using the right colors, but the spacing looks a lot better than it did before. And you can see that the variables that are being used are pulling from here. Um, I also did have an, uh, an annotation here that this should remain visible for five seconds and then go back to the default state. I believe that is also held intact uh, and considered when building it here. So if I do this, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000. Perfect. You may have already been doing something similar like this, um, but this was wild um, and kind of blew my mind when I realized that I could do this without opening an IDE or uh, anything like that. So um, let me know what you think.